Hello folks, I'm out here today uh, surveying the wilderness. Actually, the reason why I'm taking uh, this video is because I'm in an area where I know there aren't any Sasquatch. There, there, there haven't been any sightings here. And uh, I would sincerely doubt there's any activity going on at all. We're surrounded by towns, not particularly on this mountain, but you know, near, not too far away. Uh, so why am I doing this video? Well, I want to kind of compare and contrast the woods. You know what I mean? You have to kind of... Part of being aware of your surroundings is knowing what woods are supposed to look like and knowing when something is strange. You know? Um, the only down trees I see here are clearly dead. I see no game trails. I see nothing really but uh untouched wilderness i see a lot of uh sasquatch videos you know people just walking through the woods and um you know talking about stuff and they come to a a, a dead tree or or something that's obviously done by man and well i got evidence well i don't know i just uh i just think being observant is probably the best thing you want to do when you're looking around being aware of your surroundings being aware of signs what looks different what doesn't look different what looks the same what uh, you know what's out of place the best way to do that and I would encourage everybody to do this is to hang out in the woods where there have been absolutely no sightings where you know there's no chance that you're gonna come in contact with a Sasquatch when you do that, you will know what woods are supposed to look like. <laughs> I mean, it may sound simplistic, but, you know, it's really true. See, this here, this is what woods are supposed to look like. There's like, you know, nothing going on. You got uh, regular looking debris. It's really quite fascinating if you do a study for yourself, is basically what I'm trying to say. Go out, find some spots where you know there isn't anything, okay? Then go back to spots where you know there's something going on, and kind of do a compare and contrast. Because if you do it that way, you're more likely to find something amiss, you know what I'm saying? So, anyway, that was my... Uh, not looking for Sasquatch wisdom for the day. I certainly won't be looking for him here because I know they <laughs> they aren't. But uh, I kind of wanted to share that. I mentioned it before in a uh, a previous video. Wanted to expound a little because you know if all you do is go around areas where you know there's Sasquatch, that that woods is going to become the norm to you. And you're going to overlook something out of place. It's good to have kind of a... Kind of uh, explore more areas, is basically what I'm saying. And if just because there isn't a Sasquatch in an area, that doesn't mean it's not worth looking around. Because honestly, it could help you out in the long run. So, anyway... That's the wisdom I got for you today. Thanks for watching. Have an absolutely wonderful day. And stay safe out there, folks. I'm out.